that excited to go to Cincinnati? It's Friday and I have the day off and I've been stuck in my house all week working hard. So the idea of having a full day to do whatever I wanted, I felt I felt a little crazy and I thought to myself, why, why don't we just go? Let's just drive somewhere. Uh, and that somewhere is Cincinnati. You may think that's not the most glorious or glamorous location. What do you want from me? I live in Ohio. I've heard Cincinnati is cool. Specifically, I've heard that there's a lot of cool vintage and thrifty options there. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I don't know the last time I was in Cincinnati, but you and me, we're going. Unfortunately, you are, you are my hostage. But I will share my gum with you. Here. Oh, your hands are tied. Sorry, I forgot I did that. So let's enjoy the beautiful scenery of the interstate and let's get there, you know? Let's go. Yeah! We made it. Now I know there are some of you who are familiar with this area and probably have great ideas for thrift stores that I should go to. But since this was a last minute trip, I just am kind of flying by the seat of my pants. So I googled some spots and also asked for recommendations from the nice person who worked at the plant shop that I went to. This is one that I just found on my own. Our first stop is Cincy's Best Kept Secret. Your secret's safe with me and everyone watching this video. <laughs> this is one of the weirder thrift stores I've ever been to. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> not let these dolls out. Apparently all vintage is half off. Let's go check it out. if any of y'all know what this is it's like a little like bag do you hold it here but it can lay flat it almost seems like a little toiletry case i'm kind of tempted it's only 650. i think i gotta sit in that the spectral energy in this place palpable you can taste the ghosts grade a ghosts i feel like this is something i 80s or 90s sitcom crush would wear. Little cropped sweater. Oh, they are gonna go ahead and be shoulder pads. Amazing. A little bow. <laughs> Not the hand done rickrack applique. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put you on my body. She is petite. I was just making my way to the fitting room <laughs> just to take a peek around. And look what I saw. Wait. That dress is so pretty. This. You're um in the shower. Happens to the best of us, bestie. This ain't the most Kathleen coated sweater you've ever seen. And if it doesn't fit me, I'm, dri I'm driving home immediately. It fits me, so I'm not driving home. I just don't know if I really like it that much. How much are you? 48 bucks. Okay, that's 24 bucks. I would probably buy it for 24. Ooh. Count me in. cover you may know this if you follow me on instagram but i've been doing this collage challenge um called februlage for the month of february different collage 
every day with a different theme. I'm currently, uh, well, it's the ninth today. I've only done five. Will I continue? I don't know. <laughs> Just have so many little furniture pieces to collage with. Hmm. Obsessed with you. Don't mind if I do. I mean, don't mind if I don't. I don't need a sofa, but wow. Wouldn't you know it? My phone died. <laughs> my brain feels dry. I don't have that much time before I have to head back, but I did want to check out one more place. We are at another thrift store, and I just so happened to see that there's an antique mall right next door. So maybe we can go to both. I don't know. Let's just let's just get a boogie on. You know, let's go. This place is huge. I've never seen so many little guys. Remember when I was hunting for these at Christmas time? And look, they're right here, and I don't even want them. That's what we call personal growth. Here, cute. Wow, there's just so much. I don't usually get overwhelmed at thrift stores, but this is a lot. with a little booty. There is an outlet location right next door. Ooh, I think it closes in like 15 minutes. <gasps> it's very quiet. I'm looking through the shoes really quick. Got about four minutes. I feel like I have like anime hacker eyes as I look through and try to parse everything. Really putting my skills to the test. Honestly, what a weird day. Time to make the trek back with some fuel and I have to make a really difficult decision. Will my fuel be coffee or a Cincinnati classic? I don't think I've had Skyline Chili since I was in like third grade. Yeah, we'll go with the coffee. Before we talk about the haul, we have to take care of a little bit of housekeeping, including a quick message from today's video sponsor. You probably already know this, but we like to be stinky here on this channel. However, contrary to popular belief, I actually like to stink in a good way. So I'm super pumped for the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird, so that I can get my grubby little paws on a new scents every month. I am a fragrance fiend. I love mixing and matching. I love a little spice, a little vanilla, a little pink peppercorn. Ooh. So let me tell you about a few of the fragrances I got to try this month. This one, I cannot stop wearing. It's from one of my favorite fragrance companies called Juliet Has a Gun, and it's called Pear Ink. It features top notes of, you guessed it, green pear, ambroxan, and musk. To me, it smells like a your skin but better kind of smell. But if we want to get highly specific, personally to me, it smells like when you've just washed your hair and then you let it dry in the sun, warm, crisp, clean. I love it. Let's add a little bit more just for good measure. Oh, another favorite this month is Dirty Vanilla by Heretic. I love a spicy vanilla, and this totally delivers with top notes of vanilla, sandalwood, coriander, and cedar. To me, it starts off really cedary and kind of slowly melts into a more spiced vanilla as the day goes on. Here, you want to smell? Take a sniff. There are tons of options, including unisex and designer fragrances that can be really expensive that you can try for just $17 a month. Never again will we buy a full bottle of perfume just to get sick of it before it's gone. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply, but honestly, I think these are going to last me much longer than that. So if you want to try Scentbird for yourself, you can click the link below or scan the QR code here and use my code illustrated for 55% off your first month. That's it's only about eight bucks for your first month to try something new. Thank you, Scentbird, for making me so stinky in the best way. Now, back to the video. We're back and uh, drove two hours to Cincinnati, drove two hours home, and I didn't buy anything. <laughs> well, that's a lie. I didn't thrift anything, but I did get something probably even more exciting. Do you wanna open some presents? First, Wawa. Do you have yours? Okay, so I kind of lied about my reason for going to Cincinnati. It was a spur of the moment trip, but I also had to pick something up while I was there. Earlier in the year, I ordered a giant pillow from an awesome artist named Jess. Uh, you might've actually seen pillow in question in one of Lee Ellickson's videos. They collabed together to design this giant dice die. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, we know how I feel about 
Ohio giant die. Also, gotta support a fellow Ohio artist, you know? So, I figured since I kind of live in the neighborhood, I would just drive down to pick it up. I can't wait to open this. I'm so excited. And also, while I was picking it up, I visited a plant shop called Fern, and I got this cute little guy. I've always wanted a pencil cactus, but I've heard that they're highly toxic, especially to pets. So I didn't want to chance that. Not like Kashi's the kind of dog that would eat random stuff off the floor. He's not an animal. He's a little guy. But this is kind of like a pencil cactus dupe. That's not poisonous to my best friend. This is what it's called. So that was my other purchase for my Cincinnati trip. But let's open this bad boy, right? Squish factor exceeds expectations. Form factor. I don't have a caliper, but I would, I would guess that these corners are in fact 90 degrees. Whole reveal. I kind of forget what colors I asked for. So this is going to be a surprise for both of us. It's perfect. Slap test. Yeah, great bounce back. I love this. When I ordered it, I imagined it actually sitting under my desk so I could rest my little tootsies on it while I'm sitting there. But it might be too cute to just be under my desk all the time. I don't know. If you want to check out more of Jess's work. Thank you, Jess. This is beautiful. But that's not all I have to show you. So since I got this cute little plant, I've got to do right by it and also put it in a cute little planter. Unfortunately, I didn't have a cute little planter that would... It would that that it would fit in well. So we had to go to the thrift store. And uh, I don't know what that thrift store was smoking, but it was lit, as in the inventory, better than I think I've ever seen, which is wild because I've been going to this thrift store all my life. I walked in for a planter, walked out with a smorgasbord of goodies. So let's talk about it. First things first, I often have a hard time finding actual vessels to put plants in at the thrift store. So I was really surprised to find this. And it even has a drainage hole, which I was worried about having to drill my own because I don't know how to do that. Perfection, the green and this orange. Stop it, stop it right now. Let me show you what else I found. Okay, listen, I truly was not gonna look around at anything else. I just wanted the planner and I wanted to get out. But then I just happened to see in the same aisle some fresh pillar candles from Pier 1 Imports. Simple, easy, makes brain happy. And then in the same aisle, of course they have the flower vases. And I saw this guy, whoa, and I picked it up and I was like, that's amazing, but I wasn't sold on it. And then I saw that I had a sticker that said, handmade in Poland, and it was instantly, it was over for me. Of course I have to get that. So we put some flowers in here. That's not all I got. I saw this in the arts and crafts aisle and I was like, I gotta know more about that. Turns out they're beads. It would be really sad if I spill all of these. Like the tiniest. I can't even tilt it to show you. And I thought they would be lovely to use as spacers between charms. Why do I need spacers between charms? That's for a future video. Typical dodgy Kathleen illustrated response. So I was happy about that. And I found some clothes that I have not tried on yet. Shall we try them on together and cross our fingers that they fit? First thing first. Official Phoebe Bridgers merch. This was on like an end cap, like someone had been carrying it around and eventually put it down and I was like, thanks for that. Your trash, my treasure. Let's see. I do have a ton of just black hoodies, which is why I was kind of like, do I really need this when I bought it? But it's Phoebe Bridgers, of course I need it. You would have done the same. Don't judge me. But I'm wondering if maybe I can like judge it up a little bit with a bit of an upcycle. I could like add some colorful panels, shorten it a little bit. Classic move of defaulting to the crop. I went to a Phoebe Bridgers show like two years ago and the, the pit was so rowdy. I'm like, guys, calm down. What is there to mosh about? You can ask anyone and they'll tell you that I don't need any more robes. I have more than one robe already and that's a surplus of robes that nobody needs. But then I see just the perfect little seersucker green gingham light robe of dreams. I can't be stopped at that point. I can't be held accountable for my actions. And this is the perfect dress to wear when it's still cold out to pretend like it's summer. I really thought this was gonna work. And I was right, baby. Tree, you're in my life. I love the length. I love the colors. What do you think, Kashi? So that's all I got from the thrift store, but that doesn't mean that's all I have to show you. I also stopped by my P.O. box and I had two necklaces waiting for me that I think are gonna look so good together. So let's find out. First, I got one necklace off of this app called Choose, which is like a marketplace of curated brands, whether it's a small business or woman owned or sustainable. So this is not sponsored, but they did reach out to me and say, hey, you wanna check out our app and, and pick some things? And I said, heck yeah. So the first thing I got was this really cool 
beautiful chunky silver chain with a pearl on it. You know I've been loving my chunky silver necklace game recently. I don't know how this is gonna look with the with the neck the neck action that's already happening. This is from a brand called By Orly, based in LA. So cool. Again, not sponsored, but if you wanna check it out, I do have a discount code. I believe it's illustrated. You can check out the link in my description box. So I wanted to get this as a layering piece to go with, oh my gosh, I can't believe, I can't believe this one. Let me show you this right here. So this company reached out to me called Biwako. It's a jewelry company. And I was like, Biwa, like Lake Biwa, like one of my very favorite places to go in Japan. Yeah, they make jewelry using the pearls that come from Lake Biwa, which is just like full circle moment for me because I've always wanted some sort of Biwa pearl piece just to kind of commemorate that special place and this is also not sponsored of course they sent this to me for free and i'm extremely excited and honored i think this is the fanciest thing i've ever seen okay presentation it's like opening an apple product if an apple product was a, a beautiful pearl piece of jewelry oh my gosh this is the nicest piece of jewelry that i own outside of my engagement ring hold on i need a minute okay i'm back i'm honestly just kind of shocked and i wanted to put something on a little simpler so that it could just shine on its own it's got obviously beautiful natural freshwater pearls but also this little ginkgo charm wow again this is not sponsored just gifted and i am so appreciative i don't really consider my internet presence to be like influencer flavored well this really has me in my my beauty guru feels wow oh yeah like i mentioned i was thinking i might be able to pair these two together we love a little contrast on this channel but this this may be even a little too much i mean actually i kind of dig it i even really like the mixing of metals i got a whole stack going on and it's a fat stack okay to finish out i had one more thing to show you i know the last half of this video is like package haul uh which is not something i, I really do but hope you're having fun i'm having fun let me know let me know down in the comments i got the coolest package from a small business of a viewer actually this is from granny's girly goodies which is a shop run by elizabeth and gracie who are a grandma and granddaughter team hi if you're watching the whole idea behind the brand is grace was born two and a half months premature and as a result had a lot of allergies and sensitivities to normal bath products so they took it upon themselves to formulate some things that grace can use we've got super limited ingredient lists really awesome smells natural materials and they sent me over a goat milk lotion and a bath scrub both in the scent homemade pancakes warm kind of like a caramelized brown sugar Ooh. I can't wait to use these. If you wanna check out the Etsy shop, I will link it down below. It'd be great to get a little support going for them. And I'm so appreciative that you let me try your products. Thank you, Elizabeth and Gracie. This is so cool. Here, you wanna sniff? Certified stinky approved. Let's get this on my body ASAP. Oh my gosh, I forgot the best thing that I found at the thrift store. I just saw it. It's over there. Oh, that smells so good. Thank you again. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. When I saw it with my eyes, I couldn't even believe it. Are we seeing these color choices? Are we seeing this texture? It's a beautiful Victorian architectural moment made out of doily material with neon paper behind the windows and a Kelly green background. I love this. You know why I love it? Because it surprised me. Not much surprises me anymore. I grew up with unsupervised internet access and I wear that as a badge of honor. Okay, it was quasi-supervised. I know my mom watches these videos. You did your best, but sometimes you gotta look at furry art on DeviantArt, okay? To learn some things about yourself. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anyways, this surprised me. <laughs> Have you ever conceived of something like this before? Have you ever even thought with your tiny little pea brain? Not me, not I. And it was, it was 10.99. Part of me is like, I wish it was 6.99, but honestly, I need to get a grip. Get a hold of yourself. Okay, I think that's everything I have to share with you. Did you have fun this week? I did. I'm still thinking about that weird, weird thrift store that we stumbled across together. If any of you live in Cincinnati, have you ever been there? Or if you live nearby, you should go. Check it out, let me know what you find. There was that really cool clown like top sheet that I didn't end up getting because I was like, if I get this, I'll probably wanna make something with it. And I don't think I need any more material to make things with right now. So I kind of regret it, but maybe you little lads will scoop it up in my honor and do something great with it. Now I gotta say, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you really missed out on some fun this week. It is Valentine's Day week as I'm filming this. And on Valentine's Day, we hosted a kind of like American gladiator style blood sport tournament to decide the best childhood cartoon crush. 
If you're not aware, I made a whole video about this last year. It's extremely unhinged. I think it's my favorite video I've ever made on my channel. So our tournament was similar where we pitted eight of my cartoon childhood crushes together. And I gotta tell you, the DMs were spicy on this one. A lot of you, a lot of you were mad at me for making you choose between Balto and Kovu. If I have to do it, you have to do it. Actually, the final round is running right now. Let's see, let's see how it's going. I'm still mad at you guys for voting Ashitaka out. I don't wanna say you're uncultured, but wow. I think, I think the final is decided. It came down to Kovu from Lion King 2 and Meg from Hercules. Can you blame us for loving Meg? is universal. Anyways, all that to say, come follow me on Instagram. I was thinking I want to run one of these tournaments like every week, just as a little weekly tradition, a chance for us to really get to know each other. So not specifically about cartoon crushes, but it could be about anything like cartoon characters that scared you as a child, who had the best AOL instant messenger screen name as a child, what the best Neopet is. I don't know, I'm open. So if you have any ideas for tournaments that we can run on Instagram, just for fun, drop it down below. My hands smell so good. Okay, I've held you captive long enough. Grab a little lotion or a little perfume on the way out because you're very stinky. And that's why I love you. Have a great week. Bye.